What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys NetStack. Okay, so NetStack simply derives from two words and those two words are network and statistics. And so that's how they named the actual application. And it's simply a command line utility used by systems administrators for analyzing network statistics. It displays a whole lot of statistics such as open ports and corresponding addresses on the host system, uh, routing tables, as well as mas masquerade connections. So in this video, I want to walk through how to actually install the NetStack command, as well as a few examples on actually how to use the command. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, let me go down and show you guys how to actually install NetStack. And it's really no reason for me to show you this because most modern uh, distributions have NetStack installed by default. Uh, it's included in a package of software, which is called Net Tools or Net Dash Tools. So if you are on CentOS uh, Rail, then the way to install it is simply yum uh, install and then NetStat. I mean Net Tools Dash Tools. Sorry about that. And for Debian Ubuntu systems, it's the same package name. So it's just apt install or sudo apt install. And then for Arch, this is the only place that is different. You can install the package by itself. And the command to install it is simply pacman dash capital S and then net stats. So let me type that in. Nestat uh, dash NAT. Uh, and I'll run it. I'll run it right now just so you guys can see that that's the package. But it's included in, in the Net Tools, uh, Net Tools uh, group of packages, network packages that are already installed on your distribution. So, okay. So I went it on and cleared out my screen just by typing clear. Um, and I want to show you a few ways to actually run the net stack command. And the first thing I want to do is show you guys the man page. And that's simply man net stack. And press enter. And this will give you the manual for net stack. Uh, and as you can read right here, it says net stack, print network connections, routing tables, mm -hmm. interface statistics. Uh, masquerade connections and multicast memberships and here's the synopsis on actually how to run the command as well as a few notes right here uh, description and then if you go down a little further this will give you the options you can run uh, all of the options so it's it has a good amount of options uh, you can use in order to pull up statistics network statistics uh, based on what you're trying to look for Okay, so let me quit that out and I'm going to show you a few ways to run the command. Okay, so the first way I want to show you guys how to run this command, I'm going to use two options and that's dash N and R. And N shows you numerical host addresses instead of looking up the name of the actual system. Uh, it'll show you the IP address. And then dash R shows you the network routing table, uh, which is what I'm really concerned about showing you guys. So... The command is net stat and then like I said dash n and r and if we press enter there this will show you the kernel IP routing table and as you can see I have one network cord active this is the interface for it uh, and just to break down each one of these columns this destination gateway uh, gen, gen mass uh, flags uh, MS window uh, IRTT and the interface. And so that's some good information for you to look at. Okay, so the next way I want to show you guys how to run this command is actually using two other flags, and it's the dash A flag and the dash and I, which 
basically is for the network interfaces and the dash a is to show all the information um, and it shows both the listening and non listening sockets so let me run that command right fast so you guys can see what I'm talking about so net stat uh, dash a and then I press a and press enter okay and here we go it'll show each one of the interfaces it'll break all of them out this is the loop back this is my uh, cat5 uh, interface this is an extra cord I have and this is the built-in cord right here and this will show you the maximum transmission uh, unit right here and this will show you the receive uh, statistics and it's broken out by okay uh, errors and then dropped and over and this breaks out the transmissions and so this is okay this is the okay column the error column the drop column and the over column and these are the flags for the interface and each one of these letters breaks down uh, certain things about each one of these interfaces like the B is basically uh, stating that the broadcast address has been set uh, the M it means that it supports multicast uh, and this is the loop loopback address I can't remember uh, yeah the L stands for loopback and the R stands for running and the U stands for up that means that the interface is up uh, and the same thing down here uh, the B is broadcast address has been set so it's just interface flags uh, if you want some more information just look up uh, the flags that can be set for or that set for interfaces okay so the next way I want to show you guys how to run this run the net stack command is simply net stat dash a n and hold on a n t and just to break it all down the a again is to show all it'll show both listening and non listening sockets uh, the N will show numerical host address so that's what I was saying it'll, it'll show the IP addresses like this with the you know dots in between and then the T will only look at TCP connections so it'll it'll just filter out TCP connections so let's run that command right fast cool and as you can see it breaks it all down this is the protocol which is TCP and then the receive queue this basically counts the bytes not copied by the user program connected to the socket uh, and then the send queue it basically counts the bytes not acknowledged by the remote host so that's what those mean and then uh, the local address uh, along with the ports and then the forward address along with the ports and then also the state uh, and then this could be like listen as you can see uh, close weight uh, established uh, and those states mean you know different things that the either the connection is established uh, and this is all pretty much uh, websites that I have open I'm connected uh, especially the ones that said 443 because and the reason I know it's 443 that those connections are for my web browser is because I have like one of those uh, Chrome applications that forces HTTPS and 443 is the standard port for uh, SSL certs uh, and encrypted connections uh, over the browsers. So that's a lot of information you know you can look at uh, and I wanted to show you guys that. Okay and the next and final uh, command I want to show you or option that I want to show you with the netstat command is netstat dash P N L T U and just to break it all down for you the P is simply for the uh, process ID or the program ID uh, it'll show the program ID or the process ID and the name uh, to which each socket belongs to uh, and then the N of course is the numerical host address um, the L shows only listening sockets so and these are omitted uh, by default so you have to specify L in order to show only listening listening sockets 
And then the T is for TCP and the U is for UDP, which is the two different protocols. So uh, let me run that command just so you guys can see what it does. Um, press enter. And as you can see, it's a little bit more information, you know, shown a different way. And like I said, it, it looks at all the states that are listening. Uh, it pulls in both TCP, uh, UDP connections. And, you know, all the in other information I explained earlier, like the receive queue, send queue, local address, the foreign address, uh, listening, and then the program name or ID. Uh, and as you can see, I have library open, so, <laughs> and brave. So that's what that is right there on the UDP side. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you need any, if you have any questions, you know what I'm saying? And you're trying to get into networking. I have some information on networking. I used to be a network administrator at one point. I worked for a couple of different companies, uh, managing networks, uh, working with Cisco equipment, uh, the whole nine. So I do have some information, but it's kind of backdated or old because I haven't worked uh as a network administrator in a while i'm currently working as a database administrator like i stated before but still if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and of course keep it techie